everyone, Mango7 Will here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Overhit. Today we're gonna do a re-rolling guide. There's basically three stages of re-rolling in this game, and I'll try to walk you through all three of them to see which one is best for you. Um, I didn't want to put this out earlier because I wasn't really familiar with the new server. For those of you who aren't aware, the previous server, the one that Canadians were on, is slightly different, and re-rolling is like actually a thousand times easier here. So keep that in mind going forward. If you've heard me say re-rolling sucked before, it don't, no longer sucks. Um, it's actually really, really, really pleasant now. So I've been staying up really late to try to get this done and working long hours, and I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor uh, for the stream, and that is Sneak Areno. Sneak has been fantastic to us. Uh, they are a sugar-free, clean energy drink that has kept me going. My favorite flavor is strawberry watermelon, and my favorite color, you can probably guess, um, no, no surprise to anybody here, is the purple for their shaker. I love this stuff, and everybody who's supported them through me has also loved this stuff too. Uh, if you want to get some, link is in the description below, and the coupon code is MANGO. So let's get into this here and talk about the different stages of re-rolling. The first one is really simple. So let's take a look at what everybody gets on the server. We didn't get this on our server. There's a launch celebration gacha, and this is where you have to do your first uh, roll. You have um, a one in five chance of all of these units. You get a guaranteed SSR from this. One of these will always be there. You can get either Jasper Rise, Blossom, Leka, or Teze, how many names of those did I say wrong? You can get one of those five, and honestly, there's one standout, and you've probably heard the name before. That is Teze. She has an and she is an insane damage dealer. She's the one in the back with the purple there. Um, insane, absolutely monstrous single target damage dealer. And in the current state of the game, what I find is single target damage dealers are what branch you to other parts of your gear, um, because. Your, your gear is based on how much damage you do to a single target boss, so Teze is going to really stand out in that set. And she also has an amazing leader skill as well uh, if you have other dark units, and um, there's a couple really insane SR dark units as well. One of them you get for free. So I think it's just the only choice here. If you really like Blossom, if you really like Rise, if you really like Jasper, I don't know who would, but if you do, if you like Laika, if you like them, it's fine. You'll do great. Um, you're not really going to take too much of a power hit. There's so many different units that work here. Um, I wouldn't even worry about it. If you really love the design of Blossom, you will not regret picking her, I promise. Um, just pick whatever one you want, but I recommend Teze. Also, it's a little girl trapped in the body of like a sentient armor or something like that. So you get two different voices. Sometimes the armor speaks when she attacks and sometimes the little girl speaks. It's actually the coolest thing ever. So I love that. So that is step one. Pick one of your five. And step two of the rerolling process is just to get as many dupes as possible. Um, having Blossom and Teze is straight up worse than having two Blossoms or straight up worse than having two Teze. So you want as many dupes as physically possible. And the next step to get you to be able to do this is this button right up here in the top left. It's just kind of hidden and they don't prompt you with it, but it's a 50 selective summon. So just like Epic 7's 110, you get a chance at 50 of these. And I think it opens up at 3-10, um, which is pretty early. And um, pretty much every one of these gets an SSR, I believe. And you have a great chance of getting a duplicate of what you want. They have a couple choices here. One is to pick another SSR you really want to get. So let's say you really want to use Xiaomei or you really want to use Angelo um, or something like that. You can absolutely take that from here to make sure you get that one character. But I think the right choice is just to get a second Teze or a second Blossom, whatever you picked from the first one. Um, this will allow your Teze to get to 45 and that is what you want to do. Also, um, don't risk it too much. Don't worry about how many SRs you get with it. You'll get a ton of SRs. Just go for the SSR you're going, pick it, so you don't waste your time re-rolling. Um, some other great options you can pick here are obviously Xiaomei. She's amazing. Or Shumei, I'm not sure how to say her name. Angelo is insane early game, like absolutely bonkers early game, but I think he drops off later, especially without a ton of dupes. Um, I'm sure there's more, but like those are the ones I'm really, really, really leaning towards. Another option is Ash, of course. Uh, you get two Ashes, I think, from the story. So getting a third Ash from this makes him one of your more powerful units for quite a long time. I know he's like the free main character and it feels kind of lame doing that, but it is an option if you want. So that is step one. That's that's the first way to reroll. 
The second way to reroll takes a little more time, probably add like 10 plus minutes to your run. And that is throwing a couple points into your first uh, tenfold of this gacha here. So uh, this is not guaranteed, so you can go quite a few without getting an SSR, or you can get really lucky and get like a double SSR right away. So what you really can do here is um, reroll until you get one of your duplicates here. So let's say you're going for Teze, you could get a Teze from your premium gacha, pick one from your launch gacha, and then pick one from your um, guaranteed gacha, and you could end up with a level 50 Teze, which is just bonkersly big. Um, but it will be a lot harder to do. There are a ton of SSRs in this game, so um, the chance of getting another Teze is really, 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 really low, but um, it's there if you want it. That is pretty much the next step. And the final step here. The final step is for the crazies out there, and this is what I would do if I didn't already reroll for this game. Like this, If this was the first release and not the second release coming from Canada, I would do it this way, and that's the Ancient Gacha. So if you're not familiar with how the Ancient Gacha works, every 10 pulls on the Premium Gacha, you get a pull in the Ancient Gacha. That means every 3,000 um, crystals, I'm not sure what to call them, every 3,000 um, D-gems, you get one pull in the Ancient Gacha. And the Ancient Gacha is a guaranteed SSR, 100% um, guaranteed SSR, with a 10% chance of like a super SSR, whatever you want to call it. Um, these three here, we have Boobs McGee over there, Ludmilla likes to wink at me, um, we have Aglaia who likes to taunt me on load screens, and we have Edmund right here, all of which I don't know if they're really good or not, to be entirely honest. It's going to be hard to get dupes, but they're so rare that um, for me, I take rarity over something that's good, so um, I would absolutely love to take these. You have a 10% chance um, to get one of these, so <laughs> if you're really crazy, this is what I would do. Um, obviously, the right way to do this is run like 10 instances and um, multi-box and just do 10 all the way through. It's really easy to get to this point. It just takes some time. Um, so yeah, that is the main couple ways you can re-roll. And one thing you'll notice here is I did not mention SRs at all, I don't think. And that's because I don't think it matters. I think on average, most people are going to get most SRs. And also with the help of selective tickets, uh, you'll be able to get the ones that are really powerful. So I'm only level 20 right now, and you can see how many SRs I have. Like, the, the list is ridiculous. And um, there's some insane ones, like Cicero here. If you happen to be able to get dupes of Cicero, uh, absolutely get some. There's some, like, proxy as well. If you are going a dark team, proxy is bonkers for PvP. It's also pretty good for the scenario as well, um, but not as good for the raid. There's so many good SRs. There's another one I actually don't have yet which is the Nicobot. The Nicobot um, is a pink? It's pink, right? I forget. It's like a pink robot that looks like a cat that heals you. And uh, insane healing, and she carried my last account. I used her over my SSR healers. Really, really, really amazing healer. There's also stuff like Glek as well. Glek does insane amounts of damage, and we are talking about the SR young Glek, not the SSR tank Glek. This guy does brutal amounts of damage to the raid, um, so keep that in mind. This guy will really, 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 really help you do tons of damage to the raid and kind of um, get ahead of everybody else when it comes to damage dealt and get those better rewards. Also, just to show you, with all these SRs I have, I have not taken my selectives yet. I have two selective SR tickets right now, and I think I have more coming. I'm not sure on the events. So I can absolutely, like, say I didn't summon these proxies, I could go get two proxies of myself if I wanted to. Um, what I think I'm going to do, though, is finish up my Cicero, because Cicero is just one of the most ridiculous units in the game, I would say. Um, like, if we go take a look at Arena right now, last time, um, the previous versions of this game going into Arena lag the hell out of you. So let's hope it doesn't here, but going into Arena, let's take a look at the top people. Oh no, I shouldn't have hit the button. Of course, of course they wouldn't fix this. So I'm going to BRB in like a minute or two when this is done. Wow, so we have a super whale here with an UR. I've never actually seen a UR before. Um, this guy is whale mode 6000. Um, and there are going to be whale modes in this game. Keep that in mind. Um, but you can see here the type of units people are using. Lots of Angelos right now. There's the Nico bot I was telling you about. Cicero is on a good amount of these teams. There's Proxy as well. This is a good way to get an idea of um, what types of units people are using. Cicero is just, like, on almost every team, Cicero Proxy, Cicero Proxy, Cicero Proxy. Um, 
this is why I'm aiming and recommending these specific units. You can definitely see they're being used in the top scales of PvP right now, and it will stay like this. Um, you'll always have these hardcore whales like this that are just slaughtering people, but outside of that, you'll have people like me that are running the Ciceros and everything like that. So anyways, um, I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, let me know in the description below. Uh, the main thing to take from this is if you really want to go for single target power right now, I just go with Teze. She's the easiest to get dupes of, uh, but I would not fault anybody for taking anybody they like. If you like a character, by all means reroll for them, use them. I promise you they will be at least somewhat competitive with the other units I find. Um, I haven't really noticed too big of a difference between different units in this game, so um, keep that in mind going forward. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.